So now it's this one. So I'm gonna fit this one into there. Okay. So before I do that, I'm just gonna mark up where that haunch line is, which is there. Because when I push this through there, I need to mark here. Now it's, it's, it's okay to have it smaller. It don't have to be on the line. It can be slightly smaller. Yeah, when I say you said that tenon, so it's only like a pencil line smaller. So that's okay. So now what I'm going to do now here is where I'm going to uh, mark out my haunch and also cut the wedges that I need for, for this actual job out of this area here. So this is what I'm going to next, that's the next thing I'm going to do, which is that. Okay, so to do that, I've marked it from my position on the on the mortise. I'm going to parallel this line down. So I'm just going to hold my the root of the, the actual tri square square to the shoulder and just mark this down here like that. Now, how deep do I go? Well, as actually, if I so this is going to go through there like that. What I need to do is just measure. This to make sure, right, so we got 20. Now, 20 mil. So I can afford in this case to be 19 and a half. Just to give myself a little bit of a clearance, because it doesn't have to be as tight 20 and 20. You can just be a fraction off. So I've come half a mil shorter than 20. So 19.5 from this shoulder. So let's do that again. 19.5 from from here from this line there from that shoulder line so there 19.5 so if i spare that through there right so out of there I'm gonna cut these wedges out. So, so I've got a difference of three mil. So I'm going to come out four mil there and off to nothing there. So just gonna guesstimate how big four mil is. So that's about four mil there, like that. And then leave myself about two mil gap to allow for the curve of the saw. And then that's a straight line. And then I'm going to go out Take this out to about there, four mil, guesstimating four mil. Don't need to be too fussy, as long as it's within reason. And then I'm just gonna cut that there. So, how many wedges have I got there? I've got one, two, three, four. So I've got one, one, two, three, four. And this is just disregarded. So one wedge, two wedge, three, four. So I shall cut down there, then there, then down there, then there, then there, and then cut this off. And then I have all my wedges to go. One, two, three, four. That's right, stop doing. So now I'm going to use my Japanese saw again, and then I'm going to produce all these four wedges from my, and then cut this off here. Okay, right, here we go. That's one. and that's going to be my fourth one. I know it's a bit fat, but it will work. 
感じですかねかです、えーそう、これを使うと、このように使うと、このように使うと、このように使うと、このように使うと、このように使うと、このように使うと、このように使うと、このように使うと、このように使うと、このように使うと、このように使うと、このように使うと、このように使うと、このように使うと、このように使うと、このように使うと、このように使うと、このように使うと、Plane them when it's together, when I eventually get it together. So, here, there, that face edge, that edge, and this inside edge, and that's it, really.、Uh, so, away I go.
Okay. So now the wedges, once, once, when, uh, once this is glued up, it will be glued up, put together, and then the wedges will just sit. So the wedges sit here, so the flat side, or the 90 degree side of that wedge, will just sit, so in this case, this is, will sit on the flat of that, uh, edge of that tenon, and on this one, the, the 90 degree to the, to the flat, which is here, if you look at that, this will sit in there. And next one, this is the 90 degree from this uh, s square, that will sit here. And then this one, which is bigger than, which is fine, it will still work. The 90 degree, that will sit in here like that. That's how that works. Oops. So temporarily, I should just keep those in here until I'm ready to glue this up. So each one can go in just for now. Right, and then I'll get another piece. Right, something like this sit on there like that, that goes like that. And then, that goes like that. And then what will happen is, that's sit like that. Okay, so before, before you know it, Put that in there like so. Get your check it square like that. And then this one in here like that. And then this one can be there. Yeah. So that goes there and goes in there. Let's check out the squareness. And, and then what happens is afterwards you will glue it all up, glue some, put some glue on the wedges, and then you would tap in one, two, one, two, until you don't get no resistance. One, two, and then that one, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then this will get cut off afterwards. So that to, to, finish, to finish this off, I've cleaned off the, the inside, clean up the inside faces. What you would then do uh, will be to, if I was to just take this off, this sash cramp, put it on the, these are what we call our sash bearers. Just, just to show you, because I am going to do this later. So, let me just start. Let's take that out there. So, you will then glue two thirds of the of the tenon. Why two thirds? So you don't want too much on the tenon because when you push that through, all the glue will ooze out of the, the shoulders as well as there. So that's why we only glue two thirds of that tenon. So you glue two thirds with a brush, even the shoulders, off of that in there like so. Uh, the same on there, two thirds of the tenon as well as the shoulder. Uh, you don't. You only need to apply the glue, uh, the glue on the tenon. You don't need to put none inside of the mortise and inside the mortise. Just check it with square using your tri square, just like that. Putting it in the rebate. Just make sure it's square, like so, like I'm doing. So any adjustment you can just just move the rail appropriately. Okay. The same there. So this one there, what's, oh, that was, right, so you just do that as a matter of course, I'm just redoing that one, right, and then rest it on these bench bearers, what I have here, a piece of timber on the other end, just so that you can um, cramp it, so with my sash cramps that I have here. So just squeeze that up, just keep a bit of pressure. So I'm just showing you what we call a dry run, but as I say, um, this is what I'm gonna do. And then with your wedges, a little bit of glue on, on the wedges, and then just actually push them through there. 
Same with that, with a little bit of glue on both edges there. The flat side against the uh, tenon. Same on there, glue, right angle. On top of the tenon, put that wedge into there. This is the, when I say right angle, if you look at that wedge, the right angle is this end, like that. So this, so when you put the glue on, is sitting on the top of the tenon like that. And then what you're gonna do is with your uh, hammer, not with a mallet, with a hammer, you're gonna, you're gonna tap it in until you get no resistance. So one, two, three, four, one, two, until there's no resistance. When I say resistance, don't, it won't go in anymore. And the same with that one, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, like that. Until no resistance. Once that's once that's done, then you just cut cut off the surface using your uh, Japanese saw if you manage to have one, or your cannon saw. So when you're cutting, you're going to be cutting like this. The glue takes between four and five hours to dry properly, PVA, um, and then you can work on it. And then it's a case of just cleaning up the faces on a board with your smoothing plane and job done. And that's how you do it. Uh, now, right, now it's your turn to have a go.